Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. In the last class, we have seen how to use aggregator to load uh, department ID and sum of salary and average salary from the employees table into a target file. So let's see, aggregator can be used to remove duplicates. So suppose we have a uh, table, uh, our source table employees and uh, in this we have a uh, we have some duplicate records uh, somehow and uh, we want to remove the duplicates so then we can put aggregator here and uh, group by all the ports so basically if you group by all ports you can uh, remove the duplicate so only one uh, after removing the duplicates you can load into a, a target table so let's see how to do that in informatica we have seen earlier uh, we have used uh, sorter transformation to remove the duplicates so let me uh, remove the sorter transformation here and put aggregator transformation create aggregator a g g underscore remove dupes so aggregator transformation is created so i will take all the ports all the ports from the output group of uh, the union transformation and i will load i will connect all of these two the aggregator and uh, from aggregator i'll connect the output to the target so now i need to set some properties here so all are input and output ports i'm i'm not using any aggregation functions like some or average here so my only goal is to remove the duplicates in that case i need to group by all the ports in the aggregate transformation so i'm leaving the other properties as is so i save this and let's see now what is the uh, let's run this mapping and see what is the output so wfm uh, employees union i'm going to take and refresh the mapping once and uh, save this so let me run this so if i run this now and see in workflow monitor so if you remember earlier i have put duplicates wantedly in the medium salary file so it failed let me check once why it failed i took the workflow log and checking why it failed so it says the repository service marked the session as impacted the integration service is not configured to run the impacted sessions okay the session is invalid so the refresh uh, did not happen after i changed the mapping so let me fix that issue i'll just close uh, or i'll just disconnect totally from uh, this folder one and i'm going to open this again and uh, let me check now refresh mapping once and save this now let me run this again so uh, did i save this or not let me check again it failed for the same reason so i have validated the mapping uh, i have validated the session again and uh, refreshed it and uh, running it again so let's see now uh, how many records this will give me so earlier uh, we have seen that uh, I wantedly introduced duplicates in the medium salary file 62 records and uh, I eliminated these duplicates uh, by using sorted transformation so this time we used aggregator so basically we are getting 107 records in the output uh, so let's see in the target schema how many we are going to get so uh, target dot employees so we have 107 records and uh, so this time it has not sorted uh, by any particular key it just eliminated the duplicates so uh, we we will just uh, see one more option in the aggregator so basically uh, there is an option called uh, sorted input in the aggregator so if you want to uh, use aggregator transformation and give a group by on uh, any field like uh, department id uh, it has to first sort all the records uh, based on department ID and bring all the department ID, uh, same department ID records into one place and then do some aggregator on that. So uh, it has to do sorting internally. So if we uh, send sorted data to aggregator somehow, it will be faster than uh, if we send uh, unsorted data because it has to sort. So when we send sorted data, we can uh, check this option. So let's check this option and I'll put a uh, sorter transformation uh, before uh, the aggregator and uh, uh, use the sorted input option okay let me do this example uh, 
in the first aggregator mapping which I have done so here I have grouped by uh, department ID so I need to sort by department ID uh, so let me uh, introduce a sorter uh, transformation here uh, transformation create sorter SRT underscore employees and I can pull department ID from here and salary uh, from here and uh, I'll sort this based on the sorter key would be department ID then I can choose uh, so department ID is input salary is input then I can choose here sorted input option so I saved this uh, mapping so let me now open the workflow manager and run this uh, refresh the mapping and run this uh, workflow so WF employees AGG so I refreshed this mapping save this so this is valid uh, now I hope I have given truncate load okay this is a flat file it will get overwritten so start task and uh, let's see how it is running so I should get only 12 records like before and the result would not be same but when you are uh, okay partitioning license required okay once okay looks like uh, my informatica does not have uh, the partitioning license so i cannot do this un unless i have that so but you get the idea so that is how you can do when you have that uh, partitioning license so let me uh, refresh the mapping once and save this and run this so it should basically uh, load the 12 records like before so it uh, got uh, loaded uh, just now so let's uh, see agg1 dot out so this should have 12 records like before yeah we got the same output so uh, yeah you can do that sorted input option that way uh, but uh, unfortunately i'm not able to do that now so in the next class we'll see one more variation of aggregator thank